Hello there, fellow seekers of wisdom and purpose. How are you today? Good Habits, Bad Habits by Wendy Wood explores the science behind habit formation and how we can leverage this knowledge to make lasting positive changes in our lives. Wood combines insights from psychology, neuroscience, and behavioral science to shed light on why habits exist and how they can be transformed. The book emphasizes the importance of understanding the cues, routines, and rewards that underpin our habits and offers practical advice for building and maintaining healthier habits. Key takeaways. The habit loop. Like Charles Duhigg's model, Wood emphasizes that habits consist of a cue, a routine, and a reward. Context matters. Habits are strongly influenced by the context in which they occur. Understanding the role of context helps in creating an environment conducive to good habits and discouraging bad ones. Practice and repetition. Consistent practice is key to habit formation. Repeating a behavior in a specific context strengthens the neural pathways associated with that habit. Starting small. Begin by making tiny changes in your routine. These small successes can snowball into more significant habit transformations. Identity and self-perception. Habits are often tied to our identity. Changing habits might require redefining who we believe ourselves to be. External triggers. Use external cues to prompt desired habits. For instance, Placing workout gear by the door can remind you to exercise. Examples of affliction. Healthy eating. If you're trying to eat more fruits and vegetables, make them visible and easily accessible in your kitchen. This external cue can prompt healthier eating habits. Exercise. Start with a small habit like a 10-minute daily walk. Over time, this can evolve into a more robust exercise routine. Productivity. Create a specific workspace for focus work when you sit down in that space. It becomes a cue for productive work habits. Breaking bad habits. Identify the cues that trigger your bad habits and then modify the cues. For instance, if you snack when watching TV, replace unhealthy snack with healthier options. Self Perspection. Instead of saying, I am a procrastinator, change your self perspection into, I am someone who manages my time effectively. This ship can help break the habit of procrastination. Good habits, bad habits. Provide a comprehensive understanding of the science of habit formation and offer practical strategies to make positive changes that stick. By recognizing the role of context, repetition, and self-identity, you can build and maintain good habits while gradually replacing bad ones. Again, thank you for watching this journey of growth and inspiration. If you enjoyed our videos today, I invite you to subscribe to my channel for more valuable content and meaningful videos and books. Your support 
means the world to me as we continue to learn and thrive together. Stay focused, stay curious, stay inspired, and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay connected. Until next time, thank you very much. Have a good day.